only way to get her comfortable with it is to practice it enough, right? Yeah. So when you make her let go, let go like this, and then you take both your reins and you actually physically, it can be a bit low, shorten her neck yeah. with your leg on. You want her to shorten her back in a way that collects her a little bit, right? And when she goes left and right like that, or she thinks backwards with her hind legs, she's like every other horse on the planet, <laughs> right? They have to be taught to come forward. And you have to be able to close your leg, shorten her neck now. So pull your elbow back just in the walk and just, and that moment where she's like, I'm bracing, I'm running, I'm confused. Yeah. She has to learn, <coughs> quiet. Hi Molly. She has to learn this. Short neck, long neck. Short neck, long neck. And that when you shorten her neck, close your leg first, and she has to think forward with her hind legs into that short neck. That short neck means short body, well done. And now let your reins go and let her lengthen her neck and follow it forward. And now shorten her neck again. Now really pull your elbows back. Tell her good girl. And now let go again. And this exercise, you have to do it 10 minutes a day, that they get used to bringing their hind legs forward when you ask for this posture that you would have in the ring and that you can then also stretch that front end away hmm. and that she doesn't feel collection as you putting a wall up and her mincing behind the wall right. right and then when she braces behind those ears and she gets brittle in the rain instead of elastic in the rain yeah. that you can flex left to stretch the right pole flex right to stretch the left pole drop her neck again and then shorten the neck again yeah, nice try. Put it down again. And really, you only will be successful when you shorten the neck when they're pulling down. So now close your leg first, and now shorten her neck there. Mm -hmm. Tell her good girl. And you feel her hind leg came forward there? Yeah. And that's really the posture of a dressage horse, right? So the one where you're like coaxing her to stay quiet, not a ton of marks in it. When you pull her neck short and she's braced and bug-eyed and running left and right and out behind you, not a lot of marks in it. But when you can associate shortening the neck with shortening the back and carrying the weight behind, then you can relax her in it, eh? I'm just teaching her a new language. Yeah, good. And the aids. There's no horse in the world that doesn't need to learn this, right? Because it's impossible to tell a horse to lengthen their neck. So the lengthening of the neck is a reaction to the shortening of the neck until she follows your hand. And so there, you got to drop her and get her through again. And now you got to shorten the neck again. Good job. And then you've got to lengthen it. Good job. And the other place she's got to learn to let you control is that her pole when she roots it open, it's not necessarily a bad thing that she can open it yeah. because she has to open her pole into an extended walk once her neck is reaching, into extended canter, right? Yeah. And that you could have a short neck um, and an open pole, right? For, so her front feet follow their pole, like her nose out, yeah. but you still have her back on the short neck, right? And when you have a horse with a shorter neck, you still have to shorten the neck to get it. Good. Great. And then stretch it out. You got it. Until that conversation is available all the time. Do you feel that? And then leg on, shorten the neck. She's got to bring the hind leg forward and shorten the back. And that's got to become the habit. Good. Good. And then stretch the neck out. And I like that when you do that with your elbows, even when your reins are long and you have to pull your elbows all the way back and forward, and you save your wrist for controlling where her shoulders go. Yeah. Right? But there I would stretch her down and get her through that pole again. When she's fussy in the pole like that, I'd get her through that pole again. Now I'd shorten the neck on both reins. Tell her good girl. And then lengthen the neck. Good job. Right? So you have to add that into your warm-up 
and into your daily stuff so that when you take your inside leg to outside rain or whatever, it's within this connection to the back. Short, the neck being short and the back being short is dressage, right? And what you want her to learn is when you close your leg and you sit in, she's actually collecting behind to accommodate the fact that she knows that neck is coming up in there or that you start all your collection with her hind leg. Right. So I would play with it a little bit. It's your choice trot or canter to start. Some of them are easier in canter to get it through, some of them easier in trot. It's up to you. So when you close that leg and you shorten her neck, you want to feel like the hind leg comes forward underneath you again, not like you put a wall up and she's shortening behind the wall, right? Are you ready? Shorten her neck. Yep, and let go of it. And let go. Good. And through the pole again. And I might do that in the beginning for one, two strides yeah. and just let it out. That it doesn't, because she's her reaction is perfect, but it's going to get her hot, right? Good. And then out. And now one, two strides. Perfect. And out. Tell her good girl. Through the neck. Through the neck. Yep, you got it. And it's best when she's pulling down. Because she'll be the most over her back, right? Good. And then out again and relax the neck so you don't get that tension. So that one looks more like it came from her shoulders. So just take that neck left, right a little bit. It's hard for them to learn it, eh? Especially the hot ones because it connects their hind legs to more power, right? Right. Good. Good. That was a better one. You saw that's over the back? So it might have to be that low for a while, right? Yeah. And you don't feel like she's, pre she's she gets sharp in her shoulders. Yeah. She actually comes over the back and collects her hind legs first. Yep, so lower than that. Good, try it there. Good job. Well, almost just, <laughs> just, just, I would just then give and stretch that neck out again and start again. Because you really got to teach her, right, that she has a neck that you can stretch out and bring back. And if you feel like you have to go back to the walk ever, just go back and do it and walk again. Good. Until she's not balancing on your reins, right? Yeah. And you get more, um, like, like instead of having to play in a space this big, in and out, you get more range. Yeah. You can like go, hey, go all the way out, oh, come all the way in, go all the way out, come all the way in. That she can take the pressure of her neck being complete. Tucker, what have you got? Come here. No. <laughs> Jackie, how early in a horse's Three years training? old. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. this part. So they yeah. should learn at three. What were you playing with there? Was it one of those toes and you licked it? Oh. Uh. So what's happening is this is a different language, right? She's teaching aids. And it Oh, <laughs> shoulder. Where eh. going? She's visiting this dog. know they start to accept it in the rain because the rains feel more rubber yeah. than brittle. Yep. Good. Good girl. Good. Super. Right? Because otherwise you're afraid to touch it. Yeah. Because what's going to happen is she's going to brace and then she gets hot behind you, right? Yeah. 
so when you go to the trot in the canter and you practice it, okay, the good one's great. And when she gets too tight in the neck, go back to the walk, right? Tuck in the nose. Go walk. <laughs> And it has to start from her pulling down. You got it. That you can now you can shorten the neck against that pull. Yeah, yeah. Good job. She doesn't know where to go with it. It's huh? She doesn't. she doesn't know understand where to put her body. Yeah, exactly. And that's why your leg has to be on. And you have to feel like the hind legs, you reprogram the hind legs to come forward in that moment because when her back matches her neck, she'll relax. When the back is long and the neck is short, you're in trouble, right? Good. Good. <laughs> well, this is not lunch. <laughs> oh, no. This is yesterday's lunch. There's a couple of styrofoam boxes sitting right That's there. That's right. That's lunch. Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, which one do you want? Okay. I think one's fries and one's a, yeah, one's a sandwich. What's Good the first one? Girl. There you go. You got it. Can you feel her stretching down now? Yeah. It has to come from her stretching down. Would you like a French fry? Oh, I'm good, thank you. Eat a few of them. Eat most of them. I got a video yeah. or I'll get scolded. Tucker, go lie down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Take your time. And sometimes you can make her give on that right pull with your left rein, but sometimes when they're braced right, it's actually the left side they're not giving you access to. So it might be the right side then. Like take her head left, but make her stretch right, and now take her neck short on the right rein when she's tough on the left. Yeah, like that. Good job. Sometimes they're blocking the other side. Yeah, that. So go to the right. Sorry, go to the left, and make her give on the right side going left, and then make her. Oh, well done. Yep. And now stretch her neck down, and now shorten it again. Stretch it down. Yep, and now shorten it again. Sometimes it's them, yeah, getting access to this right side actually, eh? Yeah. <laughs> she's a special woman. What's that? She's a special woman. She is. Good. Good. No, Tucker. Take them. Tucker, no. You eat those. I'll eat this. Yep. And then let her trot low and then do it from trot. You know, like she's going to have to learn to be more of an accordion there anyway. Like she's not so stiff in the neck, right? Yeah. Good. Good. And then let it go out. Tell her, good girl. As soon as your reaction is to pull down after, you're really on your way, eh? You got it. And then down. Tell her great. You can never get them to relax out so you can get them in. Yep. Well done. And out. You got it. <laughs>